Hi guys, it's Santa Marcel. Welcome to my channel or welcome back whoa, to my channel. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, Taylor's filming a TikTok and why not just be quiet? Y'all love being on planes and jets until I gotta work. <laughs> These motherfuckers love sitting on a motherfucking G5 jet, but the second I gotta film a vlog, everybody wants to make pizza and clean bongs. Like suddenly y'all wanna vacuum when I'm filming. Like, <laughs> hello friends. I just did this for TikTok, but I realized it would be so much better in depth for YouTube. If you've been following me on TikTok, you may or may not know, I have a severe Amazon problem. I lay in bed at night, I'm like about to go to bed, I want like one last little rush of dopamine and I order $300 in shit and then I wake up to it the next day. That's the problem. Is online shopping anywhere else to me is like, you have to enter your credit card, which is so many numbers that you have to press. It's just ridiculous. You have to wait like two weeks, but Amazon, it's like face ID, two days, your shit's there. I'm so addicted, it's actually tragic. All of this stuff is from the last like five days my downstairs looks like this. Should I go to personal training with Milo because the trainer is so fucking hot? But before I get into this video, I have not announced this on my YouTube channel yet, but I am going on tour with not your favorite, barely my favorite, Bryce Hall. We are going on a really big tour next year all around the world and we are so excited to meet you guys and play drinking games with you if you're 21. If you're not 21, just hang out with you, do an onstage little Q&A, fun vibes, special guests coming to perform, whole thing. I just haven't done a meet and greet style tour in so long and I thought that Bryce and I together would just be a really toxic, funny vibe. If you wanna find out if we're musty or not, please come meet us, come hug us, come love us. We are so excited. We are starting off this tour by doing an LA holiday show. So if you are in the Los Angeles area right after Christmas, we are doing Hannah and Bryce Stole Christmas. So please click the link in my bio and come meet me and hug me. I haven't done a Los Angeles meet and greet in so, 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 so fucking long. And I would die for you guys to come. Before I get into this video, a bitch has got to make her money somehow. I finally am releasing new merch. This year has been a little bit of a hold off on merch. So I'm so excited before the year is over to let you guys know that I do have a small little holiday merch drop. Could I have designed an entire new holiday collection? Absolutely. I'm watching this and editing right now and I'm literally having a full-blown panic attack again from that yesterday. I just want to let all headphone users know sound warning in about 30 seconds. It was on me for so long before I knew. If you know anything about me, you know I would rather someone put a loaded Glock 9 in my mouth and play Russian roulette than have gone through what you just saw in that clip. just put a Santa hat on my mugshot. Of course, I honestly felt like this would sell better. So we have a few Santa mugshot items, such as the pillow. This is actually huge and so kind. There's also hoodies and t-shirts. They come in black and white. We also did dizzy beanies in red and green in case you weren't feeling the mugshot. <laughs> On my leg. I'm gonna stop talking brown recluse. I'm still alive. Please. Oh my, I think I'm gonna throw up. I think I'm actually gonna fucking throw up. Because brown recluse can't. Because brown recluse can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <coughs> 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 find it oh my god i'm moving away i was gonna i was gonna segue into that later oh my god it's a needle in the no it was not a needle it was not a needle in any haystack it was the haystack no don't just go upstairs that is so big you must have him figured out oh my god it's right there stop you have to find it I'm no one's resting until i fucking find the spider no one's sleeping i will literally get a flamethrower <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait. That's the biggest. I'm sorry. I was really calling you an idiot, and I'm really sorry about it. That. Don't use my boot. I have to do a haul. Your tana pillows oh don't come God. with this fighter. Oh I promise. Y'all know I have a bug fear. Y'all know I have a bug fear. Oh. oh. I put it on the ground, bro. Give me the boot. Just put it on the ground. Give me the boot. Just put it on the ground. Give me the boot. Oh, no, it's not. What, Chris? I'm a faggot and I just did that. All right, I think we should date. Okay, <laughs> hey, I'm literally sick. I'm sweating. It's What sucks about bugs is, if you don't know, it's my absolute biggest fear. Like, that ruined my mood. That ruined my night. I was in such a mood to film. I'm traumatized. I'm terrified. If I didn't have pants on and that was on my leg, I would have literally needed to be admitted into a fucking psych ward. But back to my Amazon haul. <laughs> so the rest of the Dizzy Holiday collection can be found online at fanjoy.co backslash Tana. That was sitting outside for a couple days, you can tell. And I'm absolutely not about to reopen that box. So if you wanna get it, get it. I would love it if you did. The girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, don't. Before I get into this holiday video, I just wanna say the cutest thing in the world that I received today. It is a Merry Cloutmas. Charlie and Dixie sent me a little Christmas gift and I saw them sending all these fucking TikTokers Christmas gifts and I was really like, they're not gonna send me one. Like, and these are expensive. Like they got money. So cute. Little Venus Lift Floor package. You know it's a rich package when they send the candle. I just got this in the mail right now and I thought that was so cute. It makes me so happy. Like they are the nicest people fucking ever. No one else would ever do something like this. I love you, Charlie and Dixie. I love my gift. Okay. I'm sweating balls from the anxiety that just gave me. Okay, let's get into this haul. First things first I got is a Christmas sweater. I'm so excited about this. It says send nudes. I'm live, breathe. I think everything's a bug. I don't even know if I can film this video right now. Oh my God. I'm living, breathing, and dying for this. You can get this on my OnlyFans, duh. Get your man or woman the best holiday gift this season by getting them a subscription to OnlyFans.com slash Tana Mojo. So cute, so gorgeous, so fun, so fresh. Send nudes. Uh, send nudes. Uh, so cute. This brand is also owned by one of the sharks on Shark Tank, and that's all I watch, so I'm so excited about that. Just love contributing. Of course, you have to start off every good Amazon haul with a giant pack of pickles. This was literally a 20 pack three days ago, and now I have three left. So pathetic. They come with the garlic ones, the hot ones, the sour ones, the big papa, the regular size, the kosher ones. So yum. They're just huge. I actually just got new veneers, though. These aren't the ones that are staying in these are like the temporary ones that you have for like 10 days as you guys know i was just like losing a tooth every week super quirky super fun i actually just lost the most recent tooth on a breadstick at olive garden a breadstick think about how soft breadsticks are i was furious i said you're done you're done literally went directly to the dentist and got 10 new veneers so i get the permanent ones in next week if i have a little bit of a lisp right now disregard that i haven't actually been able to eat these whole because i can't like bite into them and i forgot how much I miss just eating them as is. So I've either been having people bite them and spit the bites into my mouth, or I've been cutting them into small pieces just so I could still get my pickle fix, you know? I woke up the other day, cracked one of these babies open, chugged the juice, started the day off, correct. Another bag of my favorite Mexican candy in the world, Bully Tocas. I'm probably butchering that. As you guys may or may not know, I developed an insane love for Mexican candy this year. I'm always getting the variety pack. These are insane though, because they start off spicy. You suck off the spicy layer, then the middle is spicy. It's like a tahine coating. Oh. So good, and they're tiny, so I put these in all my purses, I put them in my pockets, I put them in the car, everywhere. On Halloween, I gave these out to the trick-or-treaters, just wanted to spice up their lives. Lip. Another necessity, this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil. I have never tried a better face oil in my entire fucking life life. In October, I got diagnosed with dermatitis. That just sounds like I need pity. I'm like, in October, I got diagnosed with dermatitis. Like, my go fun music below. It's not like that. Basically, my skin just kept getting really flaky and really red and leaving little red dots. And then they would like scar for no reason around my eyes and around my nose and around my mouth. Eventually, I learned that it was dermatitis. Hailey Bieber has it. That's the only thing getting me through it. If she can get through it, I can get through it. But this has actually really, really, really helped. And it just keeps my skin so clear because it's already so dry. And it's also literally nine dollars which i live for because i get like a thousand and i just keep them everywhere and i'm always like lathering my face my neck my hands because i'm really just not just really not trying to age you know what i mean speaking of good skin and not trying to age if you know you know if you know you know if you know you know i'm honestly just trying to recreate this photo i just got the skirt too it's upstairs can you turn that down just a little can you turn that down 
I feel like I'm giving Trish vibes in this video, like talking 100 miles per hour, like manic mood changes, recreating someone's photo for some cosplay I don't need to be doing, spending way too much money on shit I do not need. And then I got a Christmas chocolate advent calendar. I got one for me and one for my friend Chris. <laughs> I just love these. I never did these growing up, but I really wanted to get one and just feel Christmassy. But now this was on the floor next to a spider, so I'm just really not feeling it, and it might have to go into the garbage. I saw on TikTok the other day that if you like things that make you feel like a little kid again, it's because you didn't have a proper childhood and you have childhood trauma. They were just yelling way too loud. It's not gonna listen to that. You know what I mean? Then I got a variety pack of Mio. 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 This shit changed my life over Thanksgiving holiday. We were all taking shots, Amari's family and I. You'll see that vlog. Eventually, I should probably get to editing that because no one wants Thanksgiving vlog on Valentine's Day. We were pouring the meal into our shots of tequila and it is the most skinny, iconic thing I've ever tried in my entire life. These are zero calorie and they make the alcohol taste like nothing, like soda, like juice. If you have like a slight alcohol problem like me, but you wanna like do it in like a dietable fashion, insane, life-changing, life-altering. Moving on, I am going through an extreme pink slash Y2K obsession currently, which means a bunch Bunch of shit that I do not need is coming next. First things first is this Rolex and this Audemars Piguet. Stop. This one is so cute though. Like online it was giving sparkle, but I feel like in person she's giving bust down. She's giving Swarovski. She's catching the light. Cute. I wore this the other night. I'm obsessed with it. <gasps> I think I broke it. When the spider thing happened, I think I broke it. Well, now it's just a bracelet, but I still really love it. <laughs> I'm having the worst luck tonight, fuck. It did light up really cute, and I honestly think that it wouldn't break easily. I just absolutely had a seizure on the ground and everything went flying. But thank God I have my backup Peppa watch. Online, this was giving small accessory serving, could wear it with like a little white tank top and jeans, and then I'm like quirky. But in person, it's giving big, bulky child's toy. I might just have to repackage this and actually give it to like one of the children in my life. It literally teaches you how to count. It teaches you numbers though. I never really learned that. Maybe it could be useful for me. Loving that though, it's giving. <laughs> Speaking of giving. This is my favorite thing I think on the entire haul. Like words can't even express to you. The little beaded handle. Are you fucking me in the face? It's a purse, it's a tin. It could be insulated and maybe hold a slight snack. I am so excited to be at the club and every bitch is carrying like Balenciaga and I just show up with like this. Hi. So cunt, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. And as if that weren't enough, we're coming in hot with a Hello Kitty backpack. I'm actually obsessed with this. The size, it's giving Louis Vuitton Palm Springs size. This also came with a lot of stickers, but I lost them. But I love this, I love this so much. I got my assistant Paige a matching one because we both have an entire obsession with anything tacky, Y2K, serving five-year-olds. I'm gonna show you them on. I just know my stylist is at home rolling in her grave, but I'm so excited to serve a full-blown look with these. You didn't know you needed Hello Kitty arm warmers until right now. You did not know that you needed Hello Kitty arm warmers until right now. I like wanna leave them on. Like they're, they're cozy, they're cute. I'm loving arm warmers right now. Last thing when it comes to something pink, something Y2K, something I don't need. Honestly, online, I really thought they were gonna come and be like low quality and tacky, but they are so nice. It's giving hoe down, throw down. Hawk in the sky, move side to side. Jump to the left, stick it, glide. Zigzag, cross the floor, one foot in diagonal. Are you kidding me? You're kidding. You're kidding. Someone needs to take my Amazon account away. Carrying the pink Y2K moment, current feeling over into my room. I really want an all pink room right now. I don't know what it is, but I just do. I don't know if I'm gonna do it here. Uh, spoiler alert, I was gonna tell you this during this segment, but uh, you heard me screaming when that bug just uh, came into my life. Not really a big fan of this house. You guys obviously watch my stalker update and my slight worry that this house is haunted. Weird shit just keeps happening and a sis might move again. This might be the next room for me, but I got so much shit to make my room pink, like pink fuzzy bedding. I got a giant pink satin bedding set, but it was so heavy and I refused to carry it down the stairs to show you. But this one is pink and fuzzy and so kind. This pillow was just like freeze dried. What's that called? That's not the word, vacuum sealed. So it's a little flat right now. She's got to perk up, but like she'll be cute when she 
she kind of like expands, you know? I feel like I had one of these growing up, so it's just really cute and nostalgic. Wouldn't an all pink room just be so cute and fresh with like white shit? To add to my bad luck theme of the night, I dropped this. Like, why would I drop the only item in this entire hall that's glass? Like, the only fucking item in this entire hall that is fucking glass, I immediately drop. I could definitely super glue it back together or just, like, prime two-day shipping another one. Hey, This holds your rings. When I ordered this, Chris Miles asked me if this was a sex toy and I was gonna fuck myself with it, so that's good. Speaking of fucking myself, this sex toy. I've seen everyone on TikTok talking about it. I don't know if it's gonna be banned on YouTube. It looks like a flower, but apparently it eats your pussy, and I'm just so excited because I really just don't need any man. Well, first of all, this got rained on uh, I, literally i have the worst luck ever like this is the only thing that didn't get brought up to like under our doorway of course it's the one like electronic and it was in like paper packaging so fully got rained on might not work i ordered another one though and i talked about it in my last tiktok amazon haul i brought it upstairs and then our old maid cleaned my room and then it was gone so wherever she is now she's getting her shit ate real good <laughs> but uh i'm hoping this works i'll let you know i'll leave a review on tana gone wild that would be such a good only fan series reviewing sex toys not using them i'm not there yet but like reviewing them could be fun then i got this little sunset lamp i've been dying to try this it was on tiktok i'm such a little slut whore hooker for tiktok ads it makes your room look like a sunset suede brooks just got one in her room and i feel like anything she gets is just something that like works and is nice so i just got it i want to try it i'm already living in hell so i might as well just make it look like a little prettier like before someone like comes here to like kill me or something back on the necessity side a my charge hub max i got three of these if you've never tried it it is life-changing it's the best portable charger in the entire world it plugs directly into the wall and that's everything for me because the reason i get portable chargers is because i lose chargers all the time and these just like stay in your phone but whenever a charger has a little like shitty dinky cord and then you have to like plug that into like a box it just like i feel like defeats the purpose so this just really you can charge it anywhere like if you're out and it dies you can like plug it in anywhere i've been having neck problems severe neck problems it's almost like someone should have gotten me therapy for my scoliosis as a child. I'm really living for this moment. Not only do I just think I look so, so gorgeous in it. I feel like on a plane, like instead of getting off the plane with like neck pain, I would just get off like rejuvenated. You can kind of like fall asleep in it. So I've been walking around looking like this, just extra fuckable, extra gorgeous. This little thing, I don't really know what it does. You're just supposed to lay on the floor and face the ceiling and put your hands like this and look at the ceiling for 10 minutes. And I guess it like stretches your neck or something. Not really sold on that one yet. Could be giving gimmick. Then I got a shiatsu neck massager. I'm honestly just really tired of asking people to massage my neck. I'm really trying to give independence. Just imagine me in the makeup chair. It's 10 a.m. I'm in a Zoom meeting with like Bryce Hall about our tour. And I'm just like yelling, but this is on. So kind. Was very expensive, not really the nicest, but like, She's giving shiatsu, she's giving heat, she's giving healing. Oh, it's right. Jack Wright, I ordered him on Amazon too. Oh, 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 Jack walks in and he goes, so you guys are- It is a fucking fresh start. We don't call it anything. No, no label. Just, no label, no label. <laughs> Okay, guys, I have guests here and I need to entertain them, but I also need to finish this Amazon haul. Speaking of Y2K cunt, I forgot about this. Hello Kitty hoodie. No, oversized. So cute, so fresh. She's giving, she's giving punk bitch. Hello Kitty. She's giving angry Hello Kitty. I honestly was never obsessed with Hello Kitty growing up and now I'm going through the phase right now. I don't know what that means. I really don't. I got a space heater for outside of my shower. You guys know showering can already just be a traumatic experience for me. So I felt like this would really perk things up, really liven up the showering. My last house had a fireplace outside of the shower and now this house is giving blew up and landed here. So I just felt like I would emulate that with like a little Amazon two day prime. Big heater. Some Amazon clothes. Okay, everybody sleeps on Amazon clothes. Keep in mind, you wanna be a trendy bitch. You wanna buy things that are gonna go out of style in three weeks, but you wanna like get it for cheap. You wanna get it in two days. You wanna wear it while it's trendy. Then you wanna be over it. It's fine. You got it on Amazon. It was cheap. It was cheap. This little green bitch, this little green skirt bitch, come on. She's giving Shein for sure, but you know, a cute Shein vibe, right? Black skirt, little let down by this one. I think she's a little too long. So it might be good for the general public, but for me, it's giving Amish. I can't stop saying it's giving, I like it's giving Cher. No, but I do live. I'll do something with it. But just like, if you see me with this hiked up a little like that, like mind your fucking business, okay? These tops, 
are my vibe right now, okay? Life hack, whether you have tits or no tits. If you have big tits, you're set up, just wear it, have tits. If you don't have big tits, bombshell bra under this bitch, you just got a boob job. You just got a fucking boob job. Look at this photo. That's unedited. That's a paparazzi photo. Look at the tits. It was this top. And the blue, ugh. Oh, this skirt, okay, online, it was serving brown. In person, it's serving taupe. There's an unwarranted zipper. Lululemon vibes, workout vibes, you know that's not my vibe. She didn't do it for me. If she's on my Depop linked below in three days, get it, maybe you want it. Merry Christmas. A 100,000 pairs, seriously, I cannot keep a pair of hoop earrings to absolutely save my life. I got a heated blanket, but it's like far over there and you guys already know the spider dilemma and I'm just like scared of that and like no one needs to see a heated blanket. I just like really want to lay in bed and like rot and it like be over me like I'm in a coffin whole thing and a Santa hat she was like four dollars you know I want to look like that mugshot pillow of me I want to look Santa at all times I've never looked better <laughs> And that is it for the first edition of I Have an Amazon Problem. No, I've been doing this on TikTok forever, but it has gotten so out of control that I actually cannot fit it into three minute videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said in the beginning of this video, Bryce and I are going on tour and I am so, 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 so excited to meet all of you. If you are in Los Angeles, our only show before the year is over is in Los Angeles on the 28th. <gasps> My Hello Kitty sticker! These came with the backpack. And if you want to get your very own Christmas mugshot merch or Dizzy holiday collection, yours will not come with a giant brown recluse spider like mine did in the beginning of this video. Go ahead and click the link in my bio before it's gone. Make sure to subscribe to my OnlyFans and Tanagon Wild, my weekly series on OnlyFans where I do a bunch of stuff reality show style in a very raunchy way. Well, I almost forgot because I was using it as a tripod, but I am giving away a MacBook this week on my Instagram. So make sure to click the link in my bio and follow me on Instagram and get a little pink MacBook Air for Christmas. Sorry, I was using it as a tripod. I'm just like so humble. Now, that was it for my Psycho Amazon haul. I love you guys so much. Happy holidays. Send nudes. Stay gorgeous. I love you more than life. And I will talk to you in the next video.